Alexa Bliss fans, I have an update that you are going to want to actually see, and I'm going to show you footage of what you need to see in this video. And let's talk about it, because Alexa Bliss, she is on the hearts and minds of a lot of her fans right now as they wonder, not if she will return to the in-ring squared circle, but when and how. And what will the impact be? Will she be the once superstardom carrying the women's division that she once was? Or will she be what we've seen in recent years where start and stop pushes, inconsistent booking, usage? Like, there's a lot to Alexa Bliss. Because if you look at where she has come from and where she is at right now, well, it's polar opposites, right? Because... When she first started out in NXT, she was first started as like a manager type, right? With Buddy Murphy. Um, and they had a tag team run down there. And so if you look at that, then she pivoted towards being a single star. And she went up to the main roster and they pushed her right away. If you look at the SmackDown Women's Division around that time that she was called up to the main roster. She had a long, dominant reign as champion. She was a classic heel who got classic heat, who was someone to really look at as going to be one of the pillars of the company going forward. Someone that, WWE, well, they were going to build around for quite some time. She was going to be the face of the women's division. And I'm not really for sure what exactly happened, but that stopped. And she was kind of used as a background player. And whenever she would, whenever they would need someone to challenge for a championship, well, Alexa Bliss was there. She filled the part, right? And then if you look at, she went through that weird time period where she was a female version of The Fiend, essentially, and had a very weird supernatural-esque character. In fact, she turned on The Fiend at WrestleMania 37 helping Randy Orton secure a victory over the late, great Bray Wyatt. He actually disappeared from WWE television after that match, and then he got released. Alexa Bliss, on the other hand, she continued to do what she does. Look, her character work, phenomenal. Her promo ability, awesome. Her in-ring ability, pretty solid. If you look at Alexa Bliss as an overall talent, she's quite well. She's a great fit for the company. Now that leads us to today's video because Alexa Bliss, we haven't seen her since January of 2023. She was written off of television, although paired with Uncle Howdy, Bray Wyatt. Obviously, plans changed and now Uncle Howdy is back on television. Alexa Bliss, she is obviously a mother now. Bray Wyatt lost his life. And there's been a lot of speculation how WWE would bring her back. When they would, would she be part of the Wyatt Six? Well, that reportedly is not the case. However, as I've been documenting here on the channel, you can see that she is back inside of the Sword Circle, and she, she's she been documenting her progress on Instagram, especially Instagram stories. If you haven't, go, go ahead and follow her. Because she keeps posting photos of In the Ring, and as you can see most recently, inside of the Schwartz Circle, performing and practicing her finishing move, which is pretty good if you ask me. That's a great sign. Now, what we don't know is when she will return. In my opinion, I don't think she will be coming back before SummerSlam. I think that's way too soon. I mean, SummerSlam's on August 3rd in Cleveland, right? You also don't want her to get lost in the shuffle. If I had to guess, I'm going to say September, maybe? October at the latest? I think you can build... You know, she actually is returning in a great time. She's not returning during WrestleMania season where she'd be lost in the shuffle. She's returning in that late summer, early fall area where WWE historically is more prone to experiment and try out different things. And I think Alexa of Bliss would be a very, very crucial role in that. I am hopeful that WWE will push her in the right direction when she does return and uses her as more than just a utility player, someone just 
for other people to beat, right? I have also made this clear. I do not want her to be part of the Uncle Howdy Wyatt Six faction. Nor do I think she will. I think that is pretty much put to bed for now. But I'm still a little hesitant of like, ooh, are they going to do it? Are they not going to do it? If I'm WWE, I am booking her as Alexa Bliss. I am booking her as a top star because she is that. If you will just actually use her as that, she will carry. You just have to give her the opportunity. She will take the ball and run with it. That's all that I'm asking. And I think if you are WWE and you are Paul Triple H Levesque, I think that's actually something reasonable. I think that's something that can happen. You just have to give her the ball and run with it. And the reason I don't want to see her in Wyatt 6 is the fact that I don't want to see a rehash of what she... I, first of all, I was not a fan of the supernatural S character. I did not like that whatsoever. I also think it's a rehash. She did it. She did it the best that she could she made the best of it and it's a different time it's a different period we're not in the pandemic we're not thank god we're not in 2020 we're not under the leadership of Vince McMahon I understand that she has to evolve as a character but I think she can in a bigger way I think she's actually going to be coming back as a baby face although she does portray a heel much better but people are going to be wanting to see her back and oh, how things have changed, you know, since the last time we saw her, right? Think about all of the influx of talent that she can now work with, whether it's a lot, the rise of Liv Morgan, whether it's Tiffany Stratton being pushed like a freaking rocket ship, right? You look at the fact that you have Jake Cargill in there now, and who knows what 2025 will bring us, whether it be uh, Roxanne Perez call up, I expect that to happen. Uh, she can work with Lyra Valkyria now. She's on the main roster. Like, there's a bunch of names that she can work with, and it's something that I'm very interested in seeing. WrestleStar fam, a few news and notes here. First of all, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you are notified every single time we upload new wrestling content here to the channel. Also, if you would like to further support the channel and my family, please consider dropping some money on a membership subscribing to that you'll get additional content there's a bunch of awesome perks out there including members only videos which i highly recommend you go and check out also if you are looking for some sweet pro wrestling merch down in the description below i have a link with some two sweet promo codes including free shipping all that information down in the description below. Thank you so much for changing my life, my family's life, and supporting the channel. And I will see y'all in the next video.